Daniel Hayton from English Media Productions and I'm here at the East of England showground for the Peterborough Panthers and Bellevue Aces Speedway meeting. We're going to have full race clips with commentary and some highlights throughout the meeting. We're here in Heat 11 and the score is Panthers 27, Bellevue Aces 33. Panthers only trail by 6 despite being down 2 riders after losing Wright and Bates early on due to some really big crashes. The lineup for Heat 11 looks like this. Rowan Tungate is off gate 1 in red, Max Frick is off gate 2 in white, 
Ty Proctor is in gate 3 in blue, and Jamin Lidsey is in gate 4 in yellow. We're off and it's a good start from Frick. Tungate is in second and Proctor is in third. Tungate picks up a lot of speed going into the second bend and takes the lead from Frick. He only narrowly avoids hitting the fence on the back straight. Tungate goes wide into bend 4 allowing the aces up the inside, but Tungate has more speed and stays in front. Tungate and Frick are pulling out in front while Proctor is falling behind in fourth. All riders holding position down the back straight and into bend 3. Tungate goes wide again into turn 4 which gives him plenty of speed down the straight to hold off Frick. Tungate is trying to pull out in front but Frick isn't going away. Tungate covers the inside round bend 4 to keep his lead. Going into the last lap and Tungate is finally starting to pull away. Tungate is going to easily win in the end, but Bellevue get a 3-3 to hold their 6 point advantage. The winning time was 58.9 seconds. We're here in Heat 14, the score is 34-44 in favour of the Aces. The lineup for Heat 14 is Ricky Wells off gate 1 in blue, Steve Worrell off gate 2 in white, Scott Nichols off gate 3 in red, and Dimitri Berger off gate 4 in yellow. We're off and Wells is out in front with Nichols at the back, but all riders are close. Berger is challenging Wells for first using the outside around Ben 2. Wells stays in front down the back straight and Nichols is now challenging with both aces riders for second. Scott comes up the inside to easily claim second though he goes wide allowing both aces riders back into the race. However Scott gets some great speed down the straight to claim second back from Steve into turn 1. Wells and Nichols are now comfortably out in front and pulling away looking to secure the 5-1. Berger takes third around Ben 3 looking to push on and catch the Panthers riders but it may be too little too late. Nichols and Wells are team riding nicely at the front and are way out in the lead. Looks like an easy 5-1 for the Panthers. Berger is pushing hard in third, but he's just too far back going on to lap 3. Worrell is pulled up and retired from the race. Panthers score the easy 5-1 as Wells just crosses the line before Nichols in a time of 59.5 seconds. Unfortunately for the Panthers, despite a 5-1, they cannot win the meeting as they are down by 6 going into Heat 15.